Hey, it's Adrian here. Hey, a bunch of my friends were wondering about the uh, Formula One track that's being built here in Weehawken at Port Imperial. So I thought I would take some time to take a few photos and some video and post it up so everybody can see what's going on. Just to set the scene here, if you're getting to the track from Manhattan, you're going to take the ferry across the Hudson River. Interestingly, this area is where the U.S. Air Flight crash landed into the Hudson. As you approach Weehawken, the ferry docks here at the Port Imperial dock. This shot is a, is a scene of the Port Imperial ferry building, and it pans across. You can see Manhattan in the background, pans across the pits. The front straight will be running right through this section here, and the pits will be basically on the ground floor of this building. At the end of the pit straight here, turn one will be a left-hand turn into the parking lot at the stoplight. In this shot from the top of the cliff, you can see the entire structure, which obviously will be used as a parking garage in the off-season, looking back across the river at Manhattan. In this shot, you can see the short straight between turns 2 and 3. Essentially, the cars will run right along this uh, straight through here, passing this building on the right and making a hard right turn to go up over the bridge after turn three. This is another clear shot of turn three, turning right around the building and up the bridge to climb up the hill. So in this shot, we're trying to give you a little bit of a dash cam view of the track. One thing to notice as you climb up the hill is that there will need to be some track improvements specifically to get rid of what uh, we here in the U.S. call speed bumps. There are, I think, three or four speed bumps along the route. As we get to the top of the hill here, we get to the turn 5, 6, and 7 complex, which is where the track actually joins back into the main road up at the, in, in the town at the top of the hill. Um, in effect, this becomes a bit of a chicane. In this shot here, I'm actually standing on the outside of turn 10, and we're going to pan across here to look uh, down the track towards turn 11. Um, I was actually a little bit surprised at how wide and smooth the track is through this section. Um, I thought it would be much more narrow. It looks like it's um, actually going to be a decent section here. What we're looking at here is the stretch that leads into turn 12. It goes from a fairly wide boulevard hard right turn into a two-lane road going down the hill just in front of that uh, tall white building. This is the long straight running down along uh, the cliff. This is where they're actually going to be planning to put some seats right where the, uh, the sewer plant is. This will be where those seats are. And here we are just a little farther down the hill on the outside of turn 14. Basically at the bottom of the hill just before the um, combination 14-15 hairpin that comes back along the bottom. Okay, and here where we are now is uh, just after turn 15 at the beginning of what is essentially a long curving straightaway. Um, turn 16 in the distance. This building with construction is actually turns at turn 17. Here we're standing on the outside of turn 18. This is a, a hard left-hand turn at the end of the long straight at the bottom of the cliff turning back into what is now a parking lot. Um, according to the diagram, there will be a building here on the right. This short shoot here between 18 and 19 puts us back onto the front straight, running down along the uh, pit lane in the distance. And that puts us back here at the ferry building, across from the, uh, the new pit structure at the end of the course, presumably at the start-finish uh, line. So that's, uh, well, I don't know about quick, but that's a tour of the uh, track. 
uh, the potential circuit for the New Jersey Formula One race, presuming it actually happens. Um, hopefully that helps you understand a little bit more about where it is and where it's going to be going. And uh, hopefully when you get here to come watch the race, you'll uh, recognize it from the photos that we've taken today.